This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt the installations shown in this video. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and welcome to another edition of House Renovation Time. Okay, so I've just put in new kitchen cabinets, all new kitchen cabinets in this kitchen. It's a 1957 house and this is the cabinet that is above the microwave. This right here is a, a 20 amp circuit and this is 12 gauge wire. This is a 12 2 with ground. So this is a relatively new circuit. It's, it's on its own 20 amp circuit, the microwave, which is a good thing to do if you can. So what we're going to do is to put it in this new cabinet. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use this old work box. And, well, first we have to make sure that the electricity is off. And I have turned the circuit breaker off, but I'm going to double check. I'm going to turn on my Fluke 1AC voltage detector. And you see, it is off. And I can also check with my meter, and I get 0, 0.0 volts. So the electricity is definitely off. First, I'm going to open one of these clamps right here to let the cable through. So I'll just take a screwdriver and open it a little bit. The plastic clamp is called an integral clamp and if you open it up quite a ways it's very easy to fish the cable through but it doesn't really work as a clamp. If you don't open it up very much it works really well as a clamp but it's a little more difficult to fish the wire through. So the through. cable is through the clamp and I'm going to go ahead and put the old work box in the hall. You have to close these little flaps like that. So now I've got the box in, the idea is to fasten these screws. There's one in this corner and one in this corner and as you fasten them the wings of the old work box will tighten up against the plaster and the wood of the cabinet so it tightens up against both those surfaces makes the old work box tight against the cabinet so I have a little 12 volt screw gun here I just go slow Slow down here. Now you take a screwdriver and go the rest of the way. It'll take either a flat or a Phillips. And you just gotta feel it. You don't want to over tighten these, they can strip. All right, this is a 20 amp receptacle. And this is what's called a specification grade. You see it's got a metal back plate on it and right here it says spec grade. I'm going to start by attaching the bare ground wire to the green grounding terminal of the receptacle. Next I'm going to attach the white neutral wire to the silver neutral terminal. Okay, that's very well attached. And next I'm going to attach the black hot wire to the bronze terminal. So we have the black hot wire on the bronze terminal, which is on the same side as the short slot for your plug and the long slot with the T for the 20 amp receptacle is on the same side as the silver colored terminal. And now I'll put a few wraps of black electrician's tape around the terminals for safety. Yeah. 
And here you go, a brand new microwave 20 amp receptacle. Here I've plugged an outlet tester into this new microwave outlet and the two amber lights indicate that it's a correctly wired outlet. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 1AC voltage sensor, the Fluke 117 electrician's meter, the Kinepex forged wire stripper, and last but not least, the Leviton 20 amp Decora Plus spec grade receptacle. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.